Hello and welcome back to your mat. Uh, for this month, we're gonna be focusing on love and compassion for not only ourselves, but for those around us. And in order to really focus on this as our, as our kind of our the underlying theme, we're going to work on heart opening poses, which includes the class of poses which are called back bends. Now before you turn the video off and run away scared thinking it's gonna be pretzel yoga, it's not. Think about like your cobra pose when you come up. That's a back bend when you're in um, your cat cow pose. You're in the cow pose. That's a back bend. So there's a lot of back bends. And I will also apologize in advance. All three of my animals are in the house today. Two cats and a dog. So they may end up in the video or may not be at all. So we'll see what happens. So we are going to focus on back bends for the month of February to help us open the heart and to help us in that love and compassion for not only ourselves, but those around us. And I would like to point out that back bends have several benefits. Um, one of them is they're, they are very energizing, invigorating, and rejuvenating. So a lot of us spend a lot of our days, whether we're sitting on a computer or commuting or even walking, we spend a lot of like this hunched over with our shoulders hunched over. I'll show a side view because I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about, but hunched over, your chest is collapsed in, you're closed in and off, you're closed off from the world. And so for this month, we're really gonna focus on doing the absolute opposite of that. And that's what back bends do. They help energize us, they help open us back up. And while they're doing that, they open the chest and the lungs, which will also help us to breathe deeper and better. And especially in the winter, I think that's really important because a lot of us have colds and you know, congestion and whatever. So this is gonna help you breathe better. It helps that immune system also. Um, it's great at strengthening your back. And a lot of us have weak backs because again, we do a lot of this. This is really gonna help open up and strengthen that, that the back body. And it also is gonna help us counteract the uh, sedentary lifestyle that many of us live in, just sitting all the time. Especially if you're working from home more than you used to, you may not be getting up as much as you used to. Or maybe you're getting up more. So on your situation. So that's a little overview of where we're going. Um, for today's class, and pretty much most of the time when I say these, they're mostly optional. I mean, none of these you need for any of these poses, but you might find them helpful. So um, a couple of blocks and possibly a blanket. So just have those handy and nearby in case you need them and use them at your discretion. When you feel like I need these, then use them, please. So we're going to start today with a quote by E.E. E. Cummings. Hello, Josie. She's going to join us for a moment for yoga class. This is Josie, if you've not met her yet. She's my sweet little boxer, and she knows all about love. So she's here to help us. So the quote is, once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous delight, or any experience that reveals that human spirit. So let me say that again by E.E. E. Cummings. Once we believe in ourselves, we can risk curiosity, wonder, spontaneous delight, or any experience that reveals the human spirit. So just something to keep in mind as we go through today's class. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna, and of course, for these back bends, we're gonna work our way up to them. We're gonna warm up the body and all the parts of the body. It's not just your back body. Your hamstrings are involved, your back, a lot of things are involved in, in back bending. So we're gonna warm up to these poses. If you get to a pose, that I introduce and it's just not working for you, do not push yourself to do that. I will give you a modification or something else to do instead. So don't ever feel like you need to push through and do a pose. Don't ever do that. All right, we're gonna start with bound angle pose. Get everything kind of opened up. So if you've been taking my class with me long enough, you know bound angle pose by now. And uh, the Sanskrit word for this is a uh, Baddha Konasana. I'm gonna be throwing in some Sanskrit here and there throughout classes coming, you know, coming your way now. More just, so you can kind of hear them. Don't, don't feel like you need to memorize them. So this is Baddha Konasana, which is bound angle pose. And from here, I want you to sit up nice and tall. If you need to put a blanket underneath your seat, please do that. If your knees are way up, you can put blocks underneath it there. Whatever makes it where you can sit more upright. A lot of us sit like this. So we're working to tilt that pelvis. You want to be up on your sitting bone. So Use a blanket if you need to, to sit up more upright. And from here, I want you to inhale through the nose. Exhale and stay here if you, this is enough for you, or if you're able and it feels all right, hinging from your hips, come forward any amount. 
that nice straight flat back until you've reached that point and then you can round in a bit if you'd like to come further in. But what you want to avoid is, and breathe here if you're already in the pose, you want to avoid just doing this. So if you need to stay more upright, then stay upright. But if you can keep that straight back, then you can round your neck in. So breathe here for a couple of rounds of breath. In and out through your nose. Open up the body. Don't worry so much about pushing your knees down. It's really, we're just folding in. So don't push anything here. Another nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, let that out. Inhale, come slowly back up. And now we're going to do a seated forward fold to help open up the hamstrings. And again, this is the beginning of the class. It's not the end of the class. So this is where a blanket could very well come in handy. Or if you don't have one, I'm going to show it without the modification, without the blanket. But if you have a blanket, you can just tuck it underneath of your knees. So we're going to come sitting upright. Again, a blanket also underneath your seat can be helpful here if you find that you're more rounded. So you want to get more up on those sitting bones. That's really the most important. And we're going to, today, for today's practice, we're going to have bent knees because we're not really super warmed up yet. So we're going to have bent knees. And so a lot of you are going to be happy because you're going to be able to come down further than you usually can because we're having bent knees. So sit up nice and tall. If this is where you need to stay, then stay here. Otherwise, exhale, hinging again from those hips, fold over those bent knees, any amount. Breathing here, in and out through the nose. And if you feel like you want to, you can always bring your knees, your, your feet out a little bit more and make, have the bend of your knees not as pronounced. Wherever you need to be, or if it needs to be more, wherever you need to be, but we're just going for a forward bend here. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose or your mouth, whatever, whatever you need to do today. Another inhale. And exhale. Release that and come back up. And now we're going to come up into mountain pose. And we're going to do a little bit of a shoulder stretch before we start moving. So again, if you know that you need blocks for forward folds and halfway lifts and all that, we are going to be doing those. So grab those, have those at the top of your mat. But for now, I'm going to turn and face you. You can stay at the top of your mat if you'd like. But we're going to do um, a couple of little shoulder stretches to get us warmed up because we are going to be using the shoulders today. So, and you can also do this seated if you'd like. So, I'm going to do it seated just so you can maybe see me a little bit better because I'm not sure how much, how much video top here I have. So, I'm going to do it seated. You can, also, you can stay standing if you'd like. If you're standing, ground down through all four corners of your feet. And from here, I'm just going to take your hands, interlace them, and bring your palms out in front of you, facing forward. Your thumbs are facing down. Breathing here. In and out through the nose. As always, you can breathe out and out through your mouth if you need to, if you're congested. Inhale and bring your arms up overhead any amount, wherever you are. So you might be here, turn sideways. You might be here, you might be here, you might be further up. Try to keep your, um, your, your abdomen tucked in. Try not to let it jump forward. Try to stay nice and tall and long in the spine. So don't compromise that. Don't do, don't do this to get your arms back further then leave your arms out further in front of you breathing here nice and deep and then from there exhale and now take your hands and we're going to clasp them behind our backs again you can be doing this standing clasp your hands behind your back and extend your arms out if you need to use a, a belt or a strap if you don't have those things then just bring both your arms out behind you with your palms facing forward towards your body. So don't have them out this way. We want to open up the shoulders in this, this rotation. So whatever works best for you, opening those shoulders. Breathing here. And then let that go and shake that all out. And now we're going to come up to our mountain pose, standing tall at the top of our mat. And now we're going to do a little bit of movement here. So here we go. Inhale. Really ground down through all four corners of your feet. Make sure that all four corners of your feet are grounded to the mat so that you're not splaying in or out on your feet. Inhale, rise your arms up overhead and exhale, which is like fold forward. Use the blocks if you need to, touching ground. You can have a bend in your knee, you can have them straight. Most of you probably get still warming up, so a bend in your knee is really helpful right now at this point. 
Inhale and halfway lift. And then exhale, and we're going to come step back into a downward facing dog. So it's really going to stretch us out here. So really get your fine, set up your stride how you need to. It can be a wider legged, whatever you need it to be. Pedal out your legs. I want you to make this your practice. Do what works best for you. I'm only guiding you through poses, but you always have the option to do what you need to do that's best for you. So breathe here for a couple more deep breaths in and out through the nose while you pedal out the legs if you need to. Straighten, bend. Find what is good for you in this pose. One more inhale. And on the exhale, lower your knees to the ground. And now we're going to come down to our stomachs. We're going to come into Sphinx pose. So move the blocks here so you can see. So for Sphinx, your elbows are underneath of your shoulders. Your hands are out flat on the mat in front of you. And we're lifting here. This is a back bend. Okay, it's a mild back bend. But we are opening the chest, the throat. Keep the shoulders drawn back onto your back instead of letting them hunch forward. You want to be open and proud. Okay, and your feet will be, will be grounded to the mat back here behind you. This blanket's not your way. There we go. Breathe here. And now we're going to exhale and we're going to go into a little bit of locust pose, which is also is great for strengthening the back, but it's also a back bend in itself. So we're going to bring our foreheads to the ground. The arms are going to come, your palms facing down. We'll come down by your sides behind you. Your feet are still flat on the ground. And we're just going to start by lifting our chest, shoulders, and our head, leaving everything else on the ground. Hands and feet will be on the ground. So inhale and rise up your chest any amount. doesn't have to be a lot here. Keeping the shoulders rolling down on your back. Looking out, maybe in front of you on the mat. And exhale, lower down. Now you can stay with that variation. You don't have to add anything else to it if you'd rather not. So just listen to your body. From here, we're going to add the arms. So now lift your chest, shoulders, head, and arms off the mat, leaving the feet on, in contact. Breathe in here. That's a little bit harder, isn't it? You can always leave the hands back down. And exhale, lower back down. And if you feel ready, we're now going to bring up everything off of the ground obviously except for our hips and our stomach so our legs and our arms will come along with our shoulders and our chest and our head so here we go inhale lift it off the ground and exhale lower down so when you're doing that sequence this is really good for helping to strengthen your back if you need to just start with having keeping your hands and your feet on the ground for a little while and just doing this portion of it that's going to help engage the the rhomboids, your, your back muscles. So that's really helpful. Or if you need to do just the arms or maybe just the legs or one leg at a time, do what you need to do to work up to this. This is going to help strengthen your back. A lot of you may have weak back, so this may be something you need to work on for a while. All right, from here we're going to plant our hands and come back into a nice downward facing dog. We continue to warm up the body a bit before we go into our, our first back bend um, that we're going to work on today. I mean, we were doing some backbending already, but breathing here. And we're going to step forward on our mat. Inhale and halfway lift. We're going to exhale and fold forward. We're going to inhale and come all the way back up, standing back into mountain pose. So um, I did fail to mention in the beginning of class, or maybe I didn't. It's hard to remember now. But each week, we're going to have a peak back bend pose that we're going to be working on. So that's what we're working up to. We're warming up to get to there. So just so that makes sense. From here, we're going to inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, and forward fold. Going to come into this nice pose here. Inhale and halfway lift. Exhale and come back to downward facing dog. So we're just warming the body up, getting ourselves ready for that pose later on. Pedal the legs if you need to, bend or straighten your legs, really press down through all four corners of your hands and your feet, opening up that, that body, bring your tailbone up toward the sky, and now inhale and look forward, and we're going to inhale and look half, half, lift halfway up, looking forward, and now we're going to exhale and fold in. You can have a bend in your knees or not, whatever is best for you. Inhale and come all the way back up, hands overhead, and back to mountain pose. 
All right, from here, we're going to step our left foot back and we're going to open up into a wide legged forward fold. This is also going to help to continue to open up the hamstrings, which we're going to need for our back bending pose here in a bit. So inhale nice and tall, get a nice wide stance. That'll help a lot. You can always have a soft micro bend in your knees. From here, inhale and now hinging from your hips, fold forward. Bring your hands down to the ground, and now you're gonna halfway lift at first. So you can use blocks here if you need to to bring the floor up to you. Inhale and look forward, and now then exhale and fold in any amount. So whatever that looks like for you. Again, I'm showing you as a guidance. You don't have to try to copy what I'm doing, just I'm giving you a place to go. So again, you don't have to go really deep into this pose, but you should feel a very nice opening along both of your hamstrings along the back side, and a soft micro bend in your knees can also help with that if your hamstrings are really tight. So breathe here, in and out through your nose. One more inhale. Exhale. And now inhale and halfway lift, looking forward in front of you. And then exhale. Bring your hands to your hips. You can also bend your knees and come all the way back up. And now we're going to come back to the front of our mat and standing into mountain pose. So come back here, hands at your heart. From here, I want you to feel nice and lengthened and nice and tall. Before we continue to move, I want you to pick one thing about yourself that you love about yourself. So pick one thing. I know it's easy to come up with things we don't like about ourselves, but pick something that you love about yourself. And as we continue to flow, think of that thing and give it love and gratitude. So if it's a body part, thank it for all that it does for you. Whatever it might be, maybe it's a quality and attribute about yourself, but pick something that you love about yourself. Remember, this month is all about loving ourselves and others, and we're starting with ourselves today. So inhale, rise your arms up overhead. We're gonna exhale, hinging at the hips, fold forward, fold in, bent knees if you'd like, hands to blocks if you'd like. Inhale and halfway lift, look out in front of you with a flat back. And now exhale, plant your hands and step back into a nice downward dog. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to rock forward to plank. You can always put your knees down to modify here. Inhale and plank. And now we're going to exhale and we're going to lower all the way down to the ground. You can come on your knees if you'd like or lower through a regular plank. Come down to the ground. Untuck your back toes. From here we're going to do a couple of rounds of cobra. So plant your hands next to your chest. You're going to inhale. Make sure those shoulders are down on your back, not away from your ears. Inhale, lift your chest up, the throat up and open, uh, come up into any amount of cobra that you like. So your cobra might be more like here. Just keep the elbows or your, so your shoulders from creeping up towards your ears. Lower back down, release that. Inhale, lift back up again. I'll demo the lower one. Elbows are in, shoulders are back. Exhale, lower back down. And once more, inhale, lift up into cobra. And exhale, come back down. Rest for a moment. Now, I'm going to advise for you to look at what I'm going to show you because we're going to we're going to introduce a new pose today, and this is upward facing dog. Now, and when I do this pose, if you decide that is just it's I'm not ready for that, it's not going to work for me, then go back to your cobra pose and continue working the cobra pose because that's still going to give you the heart opening. It's going to strengthen your back. But you may find that's the pose you need to work on today. So if you're if you would like to try the upward facing dog with me, then watch me one time around, then we'll do it together once or twice just to kind of get used to it. And this is a normal part of when we go from plank, we'll lower down. You'll a lot of times hear teachers say, you do cobra or up dog. So we're gonna come down on our stomachs. And I again I suggest watching. So from here, plant your hands very much like cobra. The difference in cobra and up dog, though, is you are going to rise your, your chest up, 
but then you're also going to bring your knees off of the ground and straighten your arms. Now, if that's too much, you can leave your knees down, and this is a great place to start. So you'll see now that my hip points are off of the ground. So let's watch again from Cobra and Up Dog. So Cobra, I'm lifting up, but my hip points are still on the ground. Lowering back down. If With Up Dog, you can keep your knees on the ground, but now my hip points are off the ground. So it's a deeper back bend. And then the full expression, and I'll be honest, my strength level is a little bit lower today, is keeping your feet untucked on the, on the back of the mat and lifting your knees off of the ground. That is a much harder pose. And for most of you as beginners, they may find that hard. So this is a great place to start pulling those hip points off of the ground. So I'm going to lower back down. All right, so we're going to try this together. And for today, I think we're going to skip the full expression of the pose unless you just feel really like, yeah, I've got this, no problem. And please go ahead and do that. Um, my wrists are bothering me a bit today, and I'm a little bit just not quite there to do it as I normally would be. So I'm not going to overextend myself. If doing even the keeping your, bringing your hip points off of the ground is too much for you, then please stick with just Cobra. Okay, so everyone, foreheads to the ground, arms, hands planted next to your chest. And on the inhale, you're going to rise that chest, and keep your shoulders back, your elbows back, tucked back. And straighten the arms, lifting those hip points off of the ground, coming out of your pelvis. Back toes, back, bottoms of your feet are on the ground and it's behind you. Exhale and lower back down. And if you feel steady and want to try again, let's do it one more time. Inhale, come all the way back up into your upward facing dog. Throat is forward, your gaze is up, hip points are off the ground and lower back down. And from here, we're just gonna come back into a brief child's pose. And I will give you one more alignment cue here, or alignment point that I think is important. Breathing there. Come back up. One thing that I noticed myself that I did, and I wanna caution you not to do this, when you're in that up dog or even in Cobra, try to keep the weight evenly throughout all of your hand, especially onto your index and your thumb, because the tendency is to come up like this. I've done it many times and might be the reason I'm having some of my wrist issues. Uh, I know that that is an alignment thing I need to work on. So really work on when you're doing that pose, you can pause the video and try it again, keeping all four corners of your hands down on the mat, especially the index and the thumb. That's going to help you down the road. All right, so you should definitely feel some ener energy from that and feel better. So from there, we're going to go ahead and step forward on the mat. And we're going to inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and forward fold just to release all of that. And inhale, come all the way back up to standing into mountain pose. Congrats, good job. All right, we're going to come down to the, to the mat now and seated, so we're going to move out actually I take that back. We're going to do a balance pose first. A little bit more work. So today we're going to do a pretty simple balance pose. So standing tall. So you should hopefully feel a little bit more open in that chest. You should feel like your posture is more straight. Your, everything is you're lifting out of your hips. So from here, keep that while we do that. And we're going to just do a simple balance pose. You can always use the, have a wall nearby if you need. You're going to bring your right knee up into your chest. And hold here, find that point, find that gaze out in front of you. Now from here, if you'd like, you can keep it, you can keep that knee bent and just let go of your leg and hold it there in space. Or if you feel ready and steady, you can bring that leg out in front of you any amount. And right now, I'm not strong enough to bring it up at a 90 degree angle. This is about where I'm at, so find where you might be. It might be here. This is a good balance pose. Really find that gaze in front of you, breathing. Don't forget to breathe, it's so important. It's really hard to talk while I'm balancing. And exhale, release that. All right, nice, nicely done. We'll do the other side now. So bring that left leg into your chest. Find that point in front of you. Use a wall if you need to, a chair, whatever you need. If you like, stay here holding that leg in. This is still a great balance pose. Let go of that leg if you'd like to. Keep it bent or if you feel ready and steady, bring that leg out straight in front of you. This is definitely a balance challenge and a strengthener in that leg. Breathe and look at that point in front of you. Really pay attention to that point. 
breathing and release that, let that go. Nicely done. All right, from there, now we're gonna come down to the mat. Got ahead of myself there. So we're gonna do a twisting pose, kind of release all that that we just did. But I hope that you felt good trying that and I always really encourage, just try some poses, you know, unless you just know that it's, it has a, it's gonna be a problem for you or if you feel some sort of pain, then obviously back out of it and do something else. But it's always fun to try new poses. So that was Upward Facing Dog that we introduced today. And we'll be incorporating that more as we go along. So from here, we're going to do a twisting pose. So you can either leave your left leg straight out in front of you and just bring that right, leg, right foot over, step it over the other side. Or if you would like, you can bend that left leg and bring that left foot in next to your right hip point. So I will demo the first time with my leg out straight and the next time I'll do it with the leg bent. So sit up nice and tall. Again, a blanket underneath of your seat if you're really rounded. Please do that. Sit up tall and exhale. We're gonna twist to the right. So bring that left arm around your right knee, right arm behind you, and twist. You may have to, I always say, get my guts out of the way so that I can twist to the side. It's a great pose to refresh, replenish the organs, the internal organs. So as we're doing these cool down poses, I really want you to remember and think about what was that thing that you picked that you like about yourself? Or love about yourself, I should say. Did you have trouble coming up with something? Or was it something like right away? Whatever comes to mind, go with it. Breathe in here in this pose. And keep thinking about that thing that you love about yourself. It's a different mind shift. We're not used to thinking in those terms. But for today, for the rest of this month, for all the classes, I want you to be thinking about those kinds of things. Thinking from a different point of view. Exhale, come back to center. And now we'll switch the cross of our legs. So now we're going to leave the right leg out in front of us. If you want to do the straight leg and cross that left foot over, it'll be about on right along your knee. And if you'd like to, you can bend in that right leg so your, your right foot is next to your left hip point. Keeping both of your hips ground is really important. A lot of times we want to do this. So try to keep them both evenly rounded to the ground or into the blanket. Sit nice and tall and exhale, get the guts out of the way if you need to. Wrap that right arm around your left knee, left hand behind you, and look over to the left. Breathing here. And again, remembering that thing that you love about yourself. Offering it gratitude, you can close your eyes for a moment and breathe here and think about that and think, give yourself, give, it, give that thing thanks and love and gratitude. We're going for positive here. Don't think about all the list of things you don't like about yourself. We all have that list. Today, pick one thing that you love about yourself. Exhale and come back to center. From here, I'm gonna stretch that left leg out long on the mat. And now bring that right leg in. So you're, you're bending your right knee, your right leg, and then your right foot will be coming into about the left upper uh, thigh area. So from here, we're now going to turn our body to face over our left leg, stretching out the hamstrings. You can stay, this is great, keeping this left foot flexed. Or if you would like to, you can come forward any amount. It's nice to have your left hand out here, kind of as a little buttress, so to speak, to hold you up a bit. So it's like a nice little prop. And fold forward any amount. Breathing here, feeling into those hamstrings. If you have the flexibility and you really feel like it and you want to go for it, go ahead and grab a hold of that foot with one hand or with both. It's nice to have the left hand out to the side to help really twist you over your left leg. Breathing here. Feeling the hamstrings. Release. And come back up. And from here, we're going to extend that right leg out in front of us now. And bring that left foot in to your upper thigh area. And now, sit up tall on your sitting bones. Turn toward that extended leg. And from here, you can either stay upright, bring that right hand out to the side as a little prop, and bend forward any amount. Breathing here. And if you feel like it and you want to go for it, and you can, you can clasp your, your foot, you can clasp, clasp, clasp your shin, your knee, whatever, but you're really going to 
move your body to that, that right hand side, going over your right, right leg. Breathe here. Inhale, come up. And we're just going to quickly finish off with a nice knees into the chest. So come back onto your back, hug your knees into your chest. Release that, both of your feet, soles of you to be on the ground. We'll just do a quick bridge here. So from here, place your palms on the ground and lift your hips up and release all of that. And again, your chest is open and bright. Hopefully you can breathe better after this class. And exhale, lower back down and let everything go onto the mat. Let it all go. Just release, release everything onto the mat, arms, your legs, everything. And let go into the mat. You stay there breathing. And for today, while you're in Shavasana, I would like for you, we're going to do a little bit of a mini meditation in our Shavasana. So get comfortable, close your eyes, relax into the mat. And all we're going to do for about one minute to two minutes in Shavasana is focus on our breath and let everything go into the mat. So I want you just to notice your breath. Don't try to change it. Just notice that where you are. Watch the inhales come in through your nose and leave your nostrils on the exhale. It's best to have your eyes closed, if at all possible, if that's okay with you. So just focus on that breath, inhales and the exhales. When your mind starts to wonder, gently bring it back to the breath just like you would a child or a pet. Bring it back to this moment in this breath. Breathing in and out. Focus on your breath. I'm going to give you a minute of quiet to focus there and to meditate on your breath. So just focusing on the breath. When thoughts come and they will, let them go, release them. Come back to this moment in this breath. I'll let you know when the time is up. Continue bringing that focus back to your breath. If your mind has wondered, it's okay. That's normal. And now I want you to come back into the room. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring yourself back, over, back up. You can fold your knees into your chest. Go over, lean over onto your side and sit back up into a nice seated cross-legged position if this is comfortable, or you can stay lying down. I thank you very much for joining me today and taking care of yourself. In this way, it will help you take care of others. And I have one small assignment for you. I'd like for you to do something for yourself in the coming week or weeks to indulge yourself, indulge in you. It could be a favorite book. It could go for a hike. It could be a favorite bottle of wine your favorite movie, whatever it is, give yourself the gift of indulging in you. Thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.